You're watching Solar Impulse TV, and uh, this is live. In just a few seconds' time, you're going to hear Bertrand Picard, the pilot of HBSA, speaking to the Hollywood film director who directed Titanic and Avatar, James Cameron. That's coming up in just a second. Hello, Bertrand. Hello, Jim. It's Hi, how are you doing? How are you? Uh, very well, thanks. Hi, how are you? Well, it's great. Uh, I, I'm now in the air since uh, uh, 14 hours, one four hours, uh, wow. starting from Madrid, uh, crossing uh, Spain, and arriving uh, in Toulouse, uh, southern France, uh -huh. and uh, just waiting for the wind to calm down a little bit so I can land and land safely. Uh huh. So, so how uh, how far out are you now? From landing. So now I'm just uh, probably two hours. Uh -huh. Probably two hours. I will start distance in one hour. You know, with this solar airplane, everything goes very, very slowly and gently. So even to go down 12,000 feet, it takes uh, more than two hours. Right. So your altitude right now is 12,000? Yes, 12,000 feet. And the batteries are completely full of solar energy. It's absolutely great, you know, to, to see all this energy collected in the batteries. Four electrical engines turning just to the sun. Absolutely great. That's fantastic. So you've seen a lot of uh, solar arrays as you've been flying toward Toulouse? Uh, in uh, France, there, is, there are almost no solar panels. Uh, mm -hmm. It's saying quite a lot. Yes. Spain, they have wind energy, they have solar energy, but France, France is really late. Switzerland is really late also, unfortunately. And yes, I so guess. I, yeah, well, there's, there, well we, we just have to continue to raise awareness. I believe France is more invested in, uh, in uh, nuclear power right now, but everybody yeah, needs absolutely. to move towards yeah. solar. Yeah, so, absolutely. Solar, wind, geothermia. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So how is your uh, how is your derriere feeling? Well, uh, <laughs> I, I'm moving. You know, I have to to move up and down a little bit, make exercise. Yeah. And uh, well, it, it, normally the flight is just seated on an armchair in the cockpit, but actually I'm moving a lot, making a lot of exercise. You know, right. to move to this position, and everything goes well. And yeah, how are uh, how are you doing? Uh, you, you, know, you yeah, go ahead. You, yes, you know how it is to be seated also for several hours because <laughs> it's, it's challenger. You were also on a small chair. Yeah, very small chair. You just have to you just have to use uh, will willpower to uh, to go through with it. It's not uh, it's not comfortable in such a confined space. But uh, you you believe in what you're doing and and uh, what you're doing is fantastic and so. That's what carries you through. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And you know, it's, it's so nice that you accepted to be one of the patrons of Solar Impulse. Because, uh, there is a strong link now between you and my family. And uh, having you as a patron of Solar Impulse is, uh, is a great honor for us. And uh, I'm sure all the supporters of Solar Impulse must be really happy to follow this conversation live on our website. Well, you thank you for for asking me. I, I accept it instantaneously, not just because of the link between between us that exists now, but but simply because what you're doing is is so important. You know, raising awareness about the the necessity for the human race to to change to these sustainable forms of energy before we before we wreck our world, which is which is what we're doing if we don't change. Absolutely, absolutely, and. We need the maximum of people like you, like me, like Buzzard Green, like uh, Paolo Coelho, or mm -hmm. all our patrons, to, to, to speak up and to, to say now really to the government and to the politicians that they have to take measures because nothing will happen if the governments are not taking measures to promote these new types of energy. Exactly. Well, I just want to say that... Um, I believe your your father and your grandfather would be very proud of what you're doing, because not only are you you putting yourself, uh, you know, in the pilot seat right there on the front line, 
but you're doing something that has has a great uh, uh, symbolic and, and media uh, importance as well uh, to change the world. Yes, it's true that I have been very much influenced by my father and my grandfather, but I have been also influenced by all the explorers that I met, you know, the astronauts who went in space and to the moon, people like you, you know, you are a true lover of the ocean, the true explorer, and this spirit is fantastic, this spirit can change the world, and this is why we need to be all together to do it. Well, I think it's I think it's fantastic, and uh, you know I I wish you a, a safe landing in uh, in Toulouse, and uh, I look forward to seeing you. And I still haven't seen the aircraft in person, so uh, we'll have to yeah, find a sure. place where uh, where I can come and uh, and see the aircraft. Absolutely, you are always most welcome in Switzerland. Come when you want, and maybe you know maybe uh, next year we'll have the airplane somewhere else in the world, maybe in the U.S., maybe in Asia. And in this case, of course, you will be our, our guest of honor and our friend, friend to come and, and visit us. Well, I hope to come to Switzerland uh, fairly soon in the next few months because, as you know, uh, Rolex were sponsors, uh, one of the sponsors of, uh, of my recent expedition, uh, as they were sponsors for your, for your father's expedition. Uh, and so when I come to visit with them, I'll, I'll make sure that we, uh, that we connect at that time. Absolutely. Yes, we'll make a private visit. And I look forward to it. It would be nice to, it would be nice to show you our, our big baby live. Yes. Because when you see on picture, it doesn't seem as big as in reality. In reality, it's wow. <laughs> yeah, you have, to, you have to see it. And, and uh, I look forward to you uh, talking me through it uh, technically. As, as you know, I'm fascinated by the engineering as well, and how you uh, how you build such a uh, strong, lightweight structure, and and how you're managing the power from the uh, the solar array. Yeah, absolutely. I will show you everything, and I look forward also to introduce you to Audrey Borchberg. Audrey is my mm -hmm. partner and my friend in this adventure. He's somebody really great, and I'm sure you will also go very well along together. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, uh, I wish you, uh, I wish you good winds and most importantly, good sun for the remainder of the uh, of the flight and uh, and a uh, safe landing. And uh, I'll hope, much, to, hope to see you soon. Yes, me too. And all the best for you for your projects and uh, all your adventures, films, expedition, and explorations. All the best, Jim. All the best. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye, Bertrand. Bye bye. Bonne chance. Bye.